Hi, this is Tutor Nick P, and this is Lesson 23. Today we're going to look at the difference between uh, poured, squirrel away, and stash away. Uh, again, this is another one that comes up from time to time. Uh, if, uh, if in the past I had covered one of these words, and then we covered the other one, and students often see that there's a big, uh, quite a similarity between the words, they will again ask, what's the difference between these ones? Uh, and there are some clear differences. There's different, uh, different feelings of these uh, words. They all mean to save something for the future, but um, you know, there's different ways or different feelings about how and when we use each one. So let's take a look at the first one. First one here is um, or, uh, uh, to try to gather or collect a large amount of something, uh, especially because of a fear of a future shortage or the belief that the value of something could rise significantly. So hoard tends to be used more in this way and it has more this sort of a feeling. Uh, yeah, so let's look at the first example. Uh, during the SARS crisis, many people were hoarding uh, surgical masks due to an overwhelming demand and a sudden shortage. Yeah, if you can remember uh, at that time, uh, going back uh, uh, more than a decade ago, uh, especially Hong Kong and Taiwan were affected by this, and those surgical masks disappeared very quickly. Uh, there was probably a few people at the beginning that realized that this could happen, and many of them just went out and all bought it, and kind of once hoarding begins, sometimes it, it encourages other people to do the same thing, and sometimes the hoarding actually even helps to, uh, to make the shortage, even though it may have happened anyway. Um, okay, so that's, so you could see how that's, that's the way it happened with this first example. Uh, let's take a look at the second example. Uh, just before Taiwan officially entered the WTO, many people hoarded rice wine, uh, because it was announced the price would increase significantly upon Taiwan's entrance. Uh, yeah, the government kind of announced this. So people knew in advance, and a lot of people thought, oh my God, the price is going up. Uh, I better store up now. I better get a lot of it now so that at least you can get the cheaper price for a longer period of time. Uh, and that's what they did. Uh, there, was a lot of, uh, there was a lot of long lines of people trying to buy this rice wine at that time. So uh, there clearly was a lot of hoarding going on. So those are the cases. So with hoarding... Uh, again, there's always a fear of a future shortage. All right, now with the rice wine, there's no fear of a future shortage, but it definitely was that the price was going to increase. Uh, I can also remember uh, when I was younger for a period of time uh, in the U.S., um, the copper penny. Uh, the copper penny, there was, there was a period where the price of copper had risen so much that the amount of copper, the uh, intrinsic value, the amount of copper in a penny, was worth a lot more than a penny. And at that time, people started to also hoard pennies because they realized, well, why should I only get a penny for something that's worth a lot more than a penny? Uh, and uh, it took a while, but you know, banks, I remember that some banks started to offer, if you turned in 100 pennies, they would actually give you more than just a dollar. I think they were giving you like a dollar three or a dollar four or a dollar five, something like that, to try to, uh, to, try to deal with this situation. Uh, eventually it worked itself out, uh, and eventually the government changed uh, the penny. The penny now, unfortunately, has more zinc in it than it does copper. So uh, I guess if it still had copper, it probably would still be worth more than that. Uh, okay, so let's go on. Let's take a look at squirrel away now. All right, squirrel away. Uh, to put something aside in a safe place for future use. Uh, the original idea for this phrase comes directly from the way in which a squirrel puts away nuts little by little during the winter, uh, dur during the warmer months, in preparation for the winter. So squirrel away has that sort of a feeling like what a squirrel does. Uh, usually they're saving up little by little. Uh, they may not be able to get a lot all at once, but they're, they're preparing. Uh, and they know this time is coming, or they know they need it for something for the future. So it's more gradual, more little by little. So let's take a look at uh, our examples here. Uh, number one, uh, it wasn't easy with my budget, but I managed to squirrel away enough money for an overseas vacation this year. 
All right, now the person who's saying this is probably using the phrase squirrel away just to even emphasize more that you know he had to do it like a little at a time, just the way the squirrel uh, tries to find nuts. Little by little, every day he puts aside some, you know, more than he needs at that time for the future use. So that's the way we often use squirrel away. Uh, let's take a look at the second example. Uh, that prepper squirreled away rooms full of emergency supplies in case of a national disaster or really any type of disaster. Uh, they got a lot saved up. They didn't go all out and buy it all in one day. You know, they probably couldn't afford to do that. They did it little by little, you know, one, one, one week they picked up this, the next week they picked up that, and they picked up more than they needed, and, you know, over time it built up. So that's usually the idea of squirrel away. You're putting it aside, you're putting it in some safe place uh, for, for, for future use, uh, especially just in case something happens. Okay, uh, let's take a look at the last one. Well, um, if we say to stash away, we mean to hide or keep aside for future use. Yeah, with stashing away, it does have the feeling of often hiding. Sometimes you're even hiding, like within your own house, you might be even hiding from your own family sometimes. So if we say, so here's the example. First example, Bob stashed away a few bottles of liquor that he could have when he felt like it because his wife forbid him to drink any more alcohol. Uh, yeah, so he's probably even hiding this in his house so his wife or his kids don't find it. You could probably use uh, cigarettes in the same sort of example for somebody who's trying to, uh, you know, to quit smoking, but yet uh, maybe, you know, the urge, they can't control it, or maybe they don't really want to stop, maybe they're just being pressured to, uh, so that you might stash it away. Okay, let's look at the second example. Jack stashed away some emergency cash in his refrigerator because he thought burglars wouldn't think of looking there. All right, again, it's the idea of hiding it not having it out in the open. Uh, where, you know, like with some of the other ones, like uh, hoard, uh, you may not hide it like in your house. Uh, like if you had the rice wine, for example, probably your family all knows exactly where it is. Uh, yeah, so, so there is a difference there. There is a difference about hiding. Uh, let's look at the last example down here. That child stashed away a lot of candy. Yeah, so it's, it's not always to do with money or anything of great value. Sometimes it's just value to the person who's putting it aside. Stashed away a lot of candy, so he wouldn't have to share it with his siblings. Yeah, we, we know of cases like this where sometimes uh, kid, you know, kids will put candy in their drawer so that when they want it later, but they don't tell anybody. And this way, just like I said, they don't have to share it with their brothers or sisters. They can keep it all to themselves. This is the idea of stash away. So stash away definitely has a feeling of like a hiding. It is also keeping aside for future use, but you know, you're hiding and you may even be hiding from, from members in your own family, so you stash it away. Uh, squirrel away, again, like the squirrel, it feels more gradual. Uh, you do it little by little, uh, and it's probably in uh, preparation for something far in the future or, or further in the future. Uh, and hoard, hoard is often, uh, even though some people are smart enough to see that something in the far future may have a shortage, most of the time it's usually event driven. Uh, you know, just like with SARS. Uh, if it wasn't for SARS, people wouldn't have been going out and buying those surgical masks because nobody needed them. Uh, the, the hoarding was mostly during the time of the crisis. Uh, and yes, or, uh, or uh, entering yeah, WTO, yeah, here that people specifically knew the price was going to rise. Or if there's a belief that the price of something's going to rise, people might be hiding it for that reason too. Okay, uh, thank you. I hope that clarifies it. I hope that you can clearly see some differences between the three now. Thank you for your time.